there is some confusion in the interpretation of a vaccine when it is said the efficacy is 95 percent that does not imply that five percent of the vaccinated people can get the infection vaccine efficacy is a percentage reduction in a disease in a group of people who received a vaccination in a clinical trial let me emphasize it is a clinical trial putting it another way the scientists can calculate how well a vaccine candidate works by looking at the difference in new cases of the disease between the group receiving a placebo and a group receiving experimental vaccine. This is called vaccine efficacy. This means a 95% reduction in new cases of the disease in the vaccine group compared to the placebo group. What this percentage means is that 95% of the people who entered the trial had 95% lower risk of getting the COVID-19 compared with the control trial that was given the placebo. In other words, the people who were vaccinated with the Pfizer vaccine has a 20 times less likely chance of getting the virus. A 2020 study on the Pfizer vaccine of more than 43,000 participants published in the New England Journal of Medicine found the vaccine was 95% effective at preventing COVID-19. So, what 95% efficacy means is that the chance of preventing the disease is 95%, large studies have shown. This is not the same as vaccine effectiveness, which measures how well a vaccine works when given to people in the community outside the clinical trials. You may have read that the e efficacy rate of Pfizer vaccine is 95%. Moderna's vaccine is 94% and the Johnson's and Johnson's is only 66%. In its first three weeks administered in the US, Moderna's COVID vaccine had 10 confirmed severe allergic reactions out of 4 million doses, Pfizer rate slightly higher. Additionally, Professor Godfrey Doherty Institute says AstraZeneca may prove to be more effective than currently thought given that initial data from two different doses range between 62% and However, Professor Godfrey, immunologist team leader at the Doherty Institute, told News, even though the arguments for higher efficacy had some validity, validity and Pfizer and Moderna data are impressive, that it is no way discredits AstraZeneca candidate. It is important to remember that the AstraZeneca vaccine is at the right end of the efficacy spectrum, he said. Regulators were saying 50% or greater is what's required for a vaccine to be worth distributing. According to the WHO, the AstraZeneca Oxford vaccine is a viral vectored vaccine that called CHADOX1S has been found to have 63.09% efficacy and is suitable for low and middle income countries due to the easy storage requirements. In real terms, the number of people who contracted the disease after the vaccination trial is about 0.4% and has no connection to the efficacy of a vaccine which is meaningless from the people's point of view.
that signifies the importance of having the vaccine and your chances of co contacting the disease is so remote as not 0, 0.4 percent. From our point of view, that is more important than talking about the efficacy of a specific vaccine. Efficacy is important for the researchers who run the trials for their comparative studies and not for those who receive the vaccines. On the other hand, it is important to know about the efficacy of a vaccine because if the efficacy is below a certain level, it's not possible to achieve herd immunity. The term herd immunity comes from the observations of how a herd of buffaloes forms a circle with the strong on the outside protecting the weaker and more vulnerable on the inside. Those who are strong enough to get vaccinated directly protect themselves from infection. They also indirectly shield vulnerable people who cannot be vaccinated. It is estimated that 60 to 70 percent of the people would need to be immunized against COVID-19 to achieve herd immunity, the point at which its transmission begins to drop dramatically. What is important for the receivers of the vaccine to think whether they should have the vaccine and after getting it how they behave and how long will the antibodies formed last in your body to fight an infection and what complications could arise especially among those old people who have other chronic disabling issues. Based on what we know about vaccines for other diseases and early data from clinical trials, experts believe that getting a COVID-19 vaccine may also help keep you from getting seriously ill even if you do get COVID-19. Getting vaccinated yourself may also protect people around you, particularly people at increased risk for severe illnesses from COVID-19. Men can lower the sperm count after COVID-19 infection. The study researchers from the University of Florence in Italy analyzed semen samples from 43 men ages 35 to 65 about one month after they recovered from COVID-19. They found that 25% of the men had low sperm count and nearly 20% had azospermia, that is no sperms at all, or, or a total absence of sperms in the semen. Four cases of this variants were detected in Sri Lanka recently. China has allegedly pushed the Sri Lankan government to approve COVID-19 vaccines manufactured by the Chinese state-owned Sinopharm. Sinopharm vaccine candidates have formally been proved safe or effective, but thousands of people have been in injected with them in China. India has contributed 500,000 doses of the locally manufactured Covishield jab. Covishield is a local name for the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine developed in the UK and Covaxin locally made by pharma company Bharat Biotech.
A wax is formed from the inactivated vaccine, which means that it's made up of killed coronaviruses, making it safe to be injected into the body. COVAX has not been approved for use, but Bharat Biotech has defended the approval, saying Indian clinical trial laws allowed the accelerated authorization for the use of the drug after the second phase of trials. The Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine is being manufactured locally by the Serum Institute of India. It is made from the reconversion of a common cold virus known as adenovirus from chimpanzees. It has been modified to look more like a coronavirus, although it can't cause the illness. It is effective 62 to 90 percent. In conclusion, with more challenges yet to come, let us discuss how safe any vaccine is for all of us. Safety has been compromised. All trials have been through the correct phrases or process of any normal drug or vaccine. To date, there has not been a single associated death related to COVID vaccines and only a handful of potentially serious events. At this time, three vaccines have already broken cover and demonstrated efficacy higher than we had ever hoped. The bar was set by regulators at around 50%. Both Moderna and Pfizer reported 95% efficacy and Oxford University reported 90% efficacy for the particular dosage regime. Safety data is still to follow but the tracked record of vaccines is excellent and we all should be proud of a confident future. Hope this talk was useful. So don't hesitate. Have your shot when it comes to your turn. Stay safe and goodbye for now.